Hello guys, my name is Michael and welcome to the and or better say finally welcome to the installation or compilation and installation of our GTK4 on our system in my case Linux or Linux Mint 20.1 now let's see we did installed all this uh, information uh, I don't know if I checked in the last video if not I'm going to do it right now because anyway I need to set the source on our environment and the hard pass package minus well, not like this like that minus config minus libs uh, half buzz yes home mihi user usr works fine and which means the cflex sure works as well up oh, mm, too many s's right now and as you can see works fine that being said because it works fine let us move now to the uh, installation of the gtk4 for this we have a long 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 list of needed dependencies which we need them to install I'm going to put them in the description for you so that you can copy them all of those and let me run the command now right now which means I hit the wrong button for my password anyway it is a big one so it will take a little bit time to to get it done and for this I'm going to pause the video until it's done now that we got all those uh, dependencies installed we can move with creating our needed directory which means the GTK4 with the build inside it now we can move there and once that we are there we can basically call the JIT IT or JIT on JIT clone on the gitlab dot genome.org where exactly uh, it is found the gtk4 and this one will bring it for us now it will take a little bit time to get done so i'm going to have to pause again until everything it is received or downloaded now that we got the gtk4 and uh, we are ready to install it not here but here we are going to move inside the folder again not here but here so change it there to the home temp gtk4 gtk now let me call the maison on it as you can see it looks good now the next thing we are going to call the ninja which takes also sometimes as you can see right here so i'm going to pause again now we are done with the building and we can proceed with the installation which is not there but here it takes a little bit time but it will not take it too much now as you can see it's done now let's see uh, I'm going to close this one because we don't need it the first thing first package config minus minus list minus all grab on the GTK and as you can see we got GTK doc which had every possible information which we need that being said let us create a small program and I'm going to call it um, I'm going to call it uh, demo so nano demo not here change change it into our home so nano man uh, demo dot c and very very important in gtk4 they change it a lot and when i say a lot i mean a lot of things guys they got changed anyway one of them uh, it is that gtk init was dropped so it's not going to work you'll see the gtk container it is dropped as well it is not uh, going to be used in the gtk4 so basically if you try to compile and run a program which is a base set dedicated for gtk3 but using the gtk4 as you can see this gcc package config minus cflex gtk4 uh, and uh, our demo 
the output will be also demo and package config minus minus libs gtk4 now if you try to compile it as you can see let's go for top the first one says too many arguments for the main of uh, uh, for the gtk init of course because the gtk init it has another story in gtk4 but anyway it is gone from what you knew the next thing uh, which you also uh, need to know it is about the gtk4 include uh, folder and so on the story doesn't work as you probably thought anyway uh, the gtk window it is quite new it has no argument anymore and if we move uh, we have also no gtk main quit anymore there are a lot of stories here which they are not implicit declaration of the gtk container you see because gtk container it's gone guys so that being said uh, we need to we need to make some changes just to be sure that you understand the next thing which i'm going to do because this one is not, doesn't work i'm going to call this program right here which basically use gtk app application and as you can see i'm going to try to call gtk container add as well so let me see um, copy paste it basically what we have here uh, we are creating uh, uh, our main function on a new application we are connected to the activate we will talk about this when i'm going to start with gtk4 tutorials anyway uh, after that in the activate callback where ex uh, uh, where exactly happens the story here we have created a window we have i created a button and i'm trying to put the button inside it with the gtk container add which will be quite interesting well, it says implicit declaration of the function gtk container add. As you can see, it is not working because this one doesn't exist anymore. And of course, we have no reference to it because it's done. What do we exactly need? We need to drop the gtk container add call. And instead, they introduce in gtk4 a new function and a lot of new functions, uh, which uh, in this case, uh, gtk window set child uh, uh, it will be called because now every widget guys has its own window and of course every widget now recites uh, events and so on but this is not a story so let me now uh, save it compile it and run it again as you can see it is clean now let me run the demo and there you go guys this is your first uh, gtk4 program which you indeed created that being said Thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors. And until next time, see you guys.